Okay, this is part two of our series on how to use Canvas and Google Assignments together. Remember in part one, I showed you how to set this up as a teacher. Now we're gonna jump over to an iPad and look at what it looks like for students. So I'm signed in as a student into the course where I created that demo assignment. You can see on my assignments list here, it's at the very top, Google Assignment Demo. So when your students log in, it looks like just another assignment. I'm in the Canvas app right now. So here it tells me I haven't submitted yet. But it tells me there's going to be an external tool. So I'm going to go ahead and launch external tool. And that's going to open up my browser. And remember, Canvas runs through Safari when you're using the student app. So it's loading up that assignment for me. And it's doing a couple things in the background. On the first hand, it's making a copy of that template. It's preparing to make a copy of that template that I can submit. So you can see it's already given me the file. It says Elkhart Instructional, or excuse me, El uh, Instructional Technology, the Google Assignment Demo. So it puts my name in front of it. As a teacher, I can go into my drive and see that file now. For a student, I can add files to this. Maybe this assignment is to complete the slides and then add a document. They're gonna do some extra writing. I can go ahead and add an existing document. I can also create something new to attach to the submission when I come back. So that's another option you can think through. But I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the file and that's gonna open up in slides. Now you need to make sure the slides app is up to date just like normal, but it's gonna open up that template. And here's my, my slide. I'm gonna tap on the screen and I'm gonna do edit slide. And it dumps me into the slide editor and I can just come in, double tap. My name is Instatech, do my thing and check mark. And that saves my work. That's all they need to do. They could go ahead, complete the template, do whatever. Now I'm gonna go back to the student app. So I'm gonna tap on student in the top left corner and I'm gonna tap on submit. So it's going to say, you're gonna submit this. Yes, I want to, so I'm gonna tap on submit. That's the student side. Now I can hit done and that that submission is ready for me to look at as a teacher. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the video here. That's it, students, it'll open up. They launch the external tool. It'll open in the correct app based on whatever file you're working on. If it's slides, it'll be in slides, docs, it'll be in docs, et cetera. Uh, when they submit, it'll pop up on your screen. And in the last video, we're gonna take a look at how to review that student work, how to return student work for resubmissions and then other things that you can do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in part three.